Hey everybody, welcome back to Pam's Cutting Board. So, you saw me make the fried chicken livers, but to me, you gotta have gravy. Not gravy over the liver, but gravy over the mashed potatoes. I remember when I was young, mom and dad would take us out to eat and we would go to Kentucky Fried Chicken, KFC, and we would get um, the mashed potatoes with that gravy. And to me, that gravy had a different flavor than what I make. And so I did a little research and I found a copycat recipe. So we're gonna try it. And it says that you need the bouillon cubes. Now, normally when I make chicken gravy, I just use a chicken stock, or if I'm making brown gravy, I will make it with beef stock. But this says you use a combination of uh, beef, and chicken and you use the bouillon cubes that's where you get that kind of unique flavor so we're going to make it and then we're going to make it some mashed potatoes and we're going to try it out so hold on let's see let me go over exactly what you're going to need what the recipe calls for okay so you're going to need some of the beef and the chicken bouillon cubes and this is probably backwards where I'm doing um, the selfie. Wayne is um, still under the weather. As you guys know, when you saw the chicken liver um, video that Wayne's not feeling well. And I videotaped all this in one day. And um, so we're for supper, we're having the fried chicken liver, mashed potatoes with gravy, green beans, and biscuits. And I just kind of separated uh, this video and done the chicken livers on one and the gravy on the other so he's he's you know it's the same day he's not he's still not feeling well but uh, I know your prayers he'll be back on on track we need some onion powder some butter some black pepper and a little bit of flour for a root and it said salt if needed but to me those bouillon cubes are very salty so I'm not going to add any um, if you want to add some you can but I'm going to taste it first and see if it needs any I suspect it won't but um, got my water getting ready to boil in my tea kettle so that I can make the the broth from the bouillon cubes that's hard for me to say but let's get started okay I'm going to go ahead and put my butter in my pan let it be melting I've all, already done two and a quarter cups of hot water and I put my beef and chicken bouillon cubes in there I'm just letting them dissolve you see it so I'm doing with that once that butter melts we're gonna go ahead and add our flour our onion powder and her black pepper. Okay, my butter is melted. I would suggest while the butter is melting uh, to put your uh, cubes in the hot water because it takes a little time for them to dissolve. I haven't used uh, bouillon cubes in years. I've always used the uh, stock. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and add my flour to my butter. And I like using a whisk. That way it just kind of makes a little smoother gravy. Because you don't want lumpy gravy. We'll go ahead and add my pepper. Add my onion powder. I need to get some pepper at the store. I am just about out. Okay. 
And this is what we call a roux. Oh, I can smell that onion powder. Flour, butter, or flour and oil will make a roux. We're just going to let that cook for just a, a maybe a minute or so and let that raw taste of the flour cook out. Okay, now we're going to go ahead. Now we start adding our broth. This doesn't have to brown. You just want that raw taste of the flour to cook out, and that's just going to take a minute or so. Okay, slowly add our broth. And you'll want to whisk as you're doing it. It says to add about half. A little bit more than that's probably about half. You want to whisk continually so you don't get lumpy gravy. Just going to add the rest of it. And I got my stove on medium. Or I should say, I get my burner on medium. When you're whisking, make sure you go all over the pan so nothing is sticking on the bottom. And that's it. That was simple. But is it going to taste like KFC gravy? Okay, just that simple. It just took a few minutes. What, maybe less than five minutes from start to finish. It smells like that gravy. We're going to taste it in a minute and see what it tastes like. The color, though, to me is a little off. Um, I haven't had KFC gravy in a while, but it seems like I was thinking it was a richer color. But I may be wrong. I don't know. Like I said, it's been a long time because I've always just made my own gravy, but I use the liquid stock, but it smells really good. Maybe if you wanted a richer color, you could cook your flour and your uh, butter together a little bit longer, but the, according to the recipe, as soon as you get it mixed up, uh, maybe one and a half to two minutes, you add your broth. But hold on, we're going to pour this up, and uh, we're going to have a little bit of gravy. So, here's our gravy. Can you see? When I put it in my little Courier and Ives gravy boat, I don't have the saucer that goes under it or the ladle. I'm still looking for those, but I, I do collect this courier knives the in the blue so went ahead and put my gravy in there and we'll give it a try of course i don't have the mashed potatoes done yet i wanted to do this first so i could set it back and i can warm it up when the rest of the meal gets done but we're gonna have fried livers mashed potatoes with the gravy green beans and biscuits because that's what you would get um at kfc um Lee's famous recipe has good livers too. So you can see the specks of pepper. Let me turn you guys down so you can see it. Probably can't see this the pepper flakes. Oh, 
we're going to taste it and see. Let's try it. It has that flavor. It has that flavor that I remember as a kid. Ah, oh, this is going to be so good on mashed potatoes. I think this is the way I'm going to make it from now on. Yeah, I like the combination of uh, the chicken and the beef broth and that onion powder. I don't usually add garlic to my gravies, but um, this didn't call for it. And, and really and truly, I don't miss that garlic flavor. I like the, the onion flavor. So I'm going to go ahead and put the recipe in the description box, as you guys know. And for those of you that are on um, TV, you watch us on TV rather than your phone or your tablet, if you will scroll all the way down at the very last box, it will show the description and you can see the recipe there. So there you have it. Um, it's a keeper. So go ahead and try to make it and see if that's the flavor you guys remember. As always, we love you guys. If you haven't subscribed right now would be a great time to do so. If you like this video, then go ahead and subscribe, like, comment, and share. That helps us to grow the channel so we can bring more videos to you guys. We love you all. If you have prayer requests, we'd be happy to pray for you. Uh, just drop it in the comment section or you can send us an email. I even have my address on there if you want to drop a letter. Either way, we'll be happy to pray for you. Please remember Wayne. Um, he's just, you know, he's been in that wheelchair for a long time and um, he's just not been feeling well. So um, remember him in your prayers. Pray for me too. And uh, we love you guys. Till next time. Bye-bye.